Check, check. Yeah, good enough. Good. Asking me for advice on learning a new piece, said he's never had a guitar lesson in his life, yet taught himself how to play the guitar, and now he's got seven students of his own. Moved by his story, I volunteered Skype lessons for him, which he denied, said his connection wasn't good enough, and suggested instead that I make a video lesson for him. I did, and in it I asked him what guitar he was playing. And he confirmed that it was indeed a converted steel string guitar, unfit for classical music. The video became somewhat popular and many of my friends saw it. Impressed by Taiwa's story, one of them offered to donate him his spare guitar. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances on his side, this never happened. But we had already announced that Taiwa was getting a new guitar. Therefore, I launched an appeal. I am launching an appeal to everybody that I know, every guitarist, every guitar student, every guitar maker or guitar seller. If anybody can spare a guitar for a Taiwo, please let me know. Two people reached out. Cristina Ramirez from Spain and Aditya Gandhi from India. We sent Cristina's guitar over from Spain, which reached Taiwo in October. Right, so I've got an absolutely unbelievable update about the Nigerian guitar story. We got a new guitar! <laughs> we agreed to also send Aditya's guitar over, this time to Olushola Festus, Taiwo's oldest and most experienced student, who's also a guitar teacher in his own right. However, there was a problem. Transport from India and customs duty would cost more than the value of the guitar. Therefore, we made a crazy plan. I'd go to India, we'd play a fundraiser tour all around the country to raise money for the trip and the project. I'd go to Kolkata, Trivandrum, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Surat, and back to Mumbai. Once in Ahmedabad, I'd pick up Aditya's guitar from there, and after the tour, I'd take it straight to Nigeria. Benefits? The guitar would reach Nigeria faster, there would be no more customs complications, no risk of transport damage, but most importantly, I could teach the guys in Nigeria their first real professional guitar lesson in their lives. How could I say no to that? Therefore, I set off. I only had less than five weeks to organize everything, and preparations were not without difficulties. Oh, right, so one of the most unexpected things I have to do for this trip is get myself vaccinated. <laughs> they spelled my name wrong on this thing here. There's an extra N in there. And they spelled it wrong once again in a different way here. All right, vaccination done. All right, so here I am at the Consulate of Nigeria in Frankfurt. Uh, and they have denied my application. I have not been denied the visa, they just didn't take my application. All right, it is freezing outside. I'm going back to the Nigerian consulate over there to try for my Nigerian visa for the second time. I really hope this works out. It went so much better than expected. I'm actually allowed to pick up my passport on the same day, which is uh, in a few hours. Um, so I'm gonna miss my train back to Düsseldorf, but who cares? These malaria medication packages cost 55 euros each. Now, I don't have malaria, but I have to take these to make sure I don't get it. And uh, well, that means I just paid 110 euros for this 
200 euros for the vaccines, my God, the unexpected costs just keep on piling up. However, some good things also happened. Check out what I've got in my backpack. Check this out. <laughs> All right. I think I'm recording something. My first ever recording on my new GH5. I don't think you understand what this means. For somebody that's been vlogging using this for the past year or so, did you know that I have about 45 vlog episodes I've never edited? Well, actually, I've edited like five of them. Editing them is a pain. You know why? Because half of my footage is unusable. It's shaky, the light is bad, the sound is bad, it's all bad. And so I'm trying to scrape seconds off of this terrible footage because I have no equipment to use. And now suddenly, I'm driving the Ferrari. This is the dream. In the end, the good offset the bad and the trip was about to begin. The 25th of March. This was the day of my flight to India. Kolkata via Delhi. However, I've got some bad news. You see, on one of my many domestic flights within India, somebody bumped into my handbag pretty bad. I didn't think much at the time, but uh, turns out my hard drive was in the front pocket and we are currently unable to start it up. I had lost the first five and a half days of my trip. So much work, so much effort, just gone. What was the point of even bringing the camera? I guess the best way I can sum up Kolkata is... I spent the longest time in Kolkata, six full days. I saw the sights, ate the food, taught the lessons, and played the concert. I played at the Kolkata School of Music, where they welcomed me with open arms, organized the concert in less than 10 days, and still managed to get a full house. Such a great experience. But Kolkata was just the beginning of my trip. All right, it is literally three in the morning. Trivandrum, here I come. Okay, so I'm boarding my flight to Trivandrum via Bangalore. Everything went wrong at the airport. They had to check my bag twice. They had to check my handbag twice. But uh, I'm on time. I'm the last passenger on the plane. But I'm on the plane. Right, so Bobby just helped me carry my stuff into my room, and this is my room. Check this out. Check this out. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> I have been waiting for this for so long. This is this is truly a paradise for me. Check this out. There's a there's a little swing. How beautiful is this place? How unbelievably beautiful is this place? I cannot believe that this entire trip has been organized in less than six weeks. The entire concert tour, Kolkata, Trivandrum, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Surat, all of that has been organized in less than six weeks just because I have awesome friends, just because I play the guitar, just because we're helping other people in Nigeria and doing a nice thing all over India and all over the world. This is such an amazing feeling. Guys, we made it on top. <laughs> we are on top of the lighthouse. Check out just how beautiful this thing is. I'm 
I am so, so happy that I got to play here. Have I ever told you the story of how I'm playing here? I actually cold called, I cold called the German consul in Trivandrum, who happens to also be the leader of the Goethe Zentrum, a cultural organization in Germany that does uh, cultural exchange programs and a bunch of other things. And I simply asked, hey, I'll be in India. Uh, would you be interested in a concert? I'm doing this charity thing for Nigeria. It's really cool. Do uh, you want me to play there? And he immediately replied and said, yes, we'll pay for your flight within India, we'll pay for your hotel, we'll pay you a fixed amount of money, come here, play a concert, we'll give you a hotel on the beach, it's gonna be great. Alright, so here we are at the concert hall, or better said, concert court. This is actually kind of outdoors, it is beautiful. Check out this backdrop over here. For those of you that have seen the poster, you know it looks almost the same as the poster. And this is the guy that designed it, Bobby, the, the guy who picked me up from the airport. He's actually a graphic designer. Right, I've just finished playing the concert. It was really, really cool. I still can't get over the fact that there's a gigantic poster of myself behind me. Uh, it was really nice. There were a lot of people. Today, apparently, the whole city is on strike. There's no public buses. So all of these people that, that came today, and it was a lot of them, they all came by themselves. They managed to brave the strike and to, and to make this happen. I'm super thankful to all of them. Uh, it was an amazingly fun concert. It's just... It's just the best feeling to be here. It is nine in the morning and we're going to the workshop. We're gonna have some breakfast on the way and then it's uh, teaching time. Fascinating place. I've never taught anywhere in a place like this. We've got some new kids, hi. <laughs> Hello there. Anybody, anybody of you play any music? Wow, what do you play? Keyboard, beautiful. And you? And anybody else? You play it. Guitar, keyboard, tabla, harmonium. Wow! You have a YouTube channel. Western, uh, specializing Western songs. Wow! Let's promo it. What's your channel name? Aditi Official. Aritya official? A-D-I-T-I-O-F-F-I-C-I-A-O -I -I Amazing! Apparently she plays... Like how many instruments do you play? Um, guitar, keyboard, tabla, harmonium, harmonica and I like drums too. <laughs> That's six instruments and she also sings. And she's got a YouTube channel. Wow! Maybe you should be holding this class. I only play one instrument. Last time she was performing with the reggae band we got from Germany. Wow! Yeah. That's amazing! Alright, so do you, you play reggae as well? Or not so much, just for the band. Just yeah. because you were with the band. I got it. <laughs> That's really, really cool stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna look up, look up the actual chords, right? Because 
what I played before was just the chords that I heard in my mind, right? And sometimes that's transposed. Okay. I think you will come up here with me and we'll do uh, and we'll sing. Actually, small change of plans. It seems like Bobby is there with his daughter, so I'm gonna go say hi. Let's go say hi. Okay, so we're doing the craziest thing. We have five hours until I leave this city, until my flight leaves this city. But we've decided we're gonna record a music video because why not? <laughs> I mean, how beautiful is this place? This awesome musician is playing with me for the very first time and uh, it's working out so well. It's I just this is why I make music. For these moments it is that one starts to play music. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just got to my hotel in Chennai. It's a nice hotel, it's pretty cheap. They even make a heart on your bed out of your towels. That's uh, kind of cute, a little bit creepy, but kind of cute. Um, however, as you might notice, there's one thing missing. That is toilet paper. <laughs> there's no toilet paper anywhere. All oh, right, it is 10 in the morning in Chennai and I'm about to start my only day here. I have to go meet Matt, that's my friend who's helping me organize this concert, he's the one who made it all possible. I have to meet his students, I have to go teach a workshop after that, play the concert, and take a flight to Ahmedabad all in the same day. Needless to say, I'm not gonna be able to see anything of the town, unfortunately. I'm very sorry about that, but I've got exactly 26 hours in this city in total, and that includes the night that I just slept. So this is Matt, he's the one that made Chennai possible. <laughs> it should be pretty fun. We're gonna go to the school that I work at now called KM Music Conservatory. Meet some of my students before the concert and workshop in Bessemer. Awesome, I have no idea where that is, but that's awesome. Also, I'm in a rickshaw for the first time in my life. <laughs> this is my, uh, my maiden trip. This is my... Uh... <laughs> what is your name? Mircea. Mircea, actually. Oh. Okay, so we finished the master classes and we're gonna have a workshop. Uh, <laughs> we've multiplied, we've multiplied in the past hour. Are you guys coming to the workshop? Yes! Awesome, can't wait to see you there. The plan is I'm gonna have one quick coffee, warm up, uh, workshop, concert, and then it's to the airport. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for coming, you rock!
honestly, I think the hero of this, of this evening is this guy, because he made it happen. <laughs> Woo! Without, without Matt, I'd definitely not be here. All right. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Um, uh, this concert tonight has a bit of a theme to it. I am on a world trip right now, uh, going to India, Nigeria, and Cuba. And so I've decided to structure tonight's uh, concert as a trip around the world of music as well. Now, this <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Right, so it's the next day, and I'm in Ahmedabad. Let me explain to you what happened. I made it. I'm in Ahmedabad at the details place. I had to delete a bunch of footage. I'm having a lot of trouble with my hard drive. I really hope that I'll be able to recover that because it is the only copy of about six vlogging days in Kolkata. I really don't want to lose that. This is where we are right now and I'll get back to you as soon as I have any more updates. In the meantime, I've got a guitar to check out. So let's go do that. Let's go check out the guitar. <laughs> Aditya. Can I come in? I'm already coming in. I'm coming in. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, man. Can I can I see the guitar? Of course. <laughs> All right. That is the guitar. Check it out. Let's go to the living room. Come on, come on. Oh, man. That is so exciting. We've been waiting so long for this moment. I I cannot believe that I'm finally here and this is finally happening. This guitar is gonna go to Nigeria. This guitar is gonna go to Kenya on its way to Nigeria. Look at that beauty. Oh my God. Look at that beautiful Ramirez guitar. I am so, so happy that this finally worked out. I couldn't be more excited about this and all of this is because of Aditya. This is the guy that made it all possible, you know? Without his donation, first of all, there would be no guitar. Secondly, I would have never come up with the idea of making this trip, of making this documentary, of raising all of this money. I am just so incredibly thankful that he exists and that he happened to see my original video. I'm, I'm just so happy to be here. All right, I gotta show it off to you. So the sound check is done. Everything has been installed. Unfortunately, the beautiful Christmas lights didn't work out because they broke. They tend to break all the time. Uh, but we are ready to go. It is about 25 minutes before the concert starts. So we gotta get out of here so that they can let the people in. Right, so the concert is supposed to start in like, what, two minutes? But uh, we're just out here chilling. <laughs> no, not two minutes, more like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, but it's already, isn't it supposed to start at eight? Yeah, this is in Germany. It's Indian time. And also I met a bunch of people from Germany, so uh, I feel like home. So today is gonna be an earlier morning because we are going to see a step well I'm so excited about that. We just woke up. Uh, we're having some breakfast and uh, We're gonna get going in really short time. I'm I just cannot wait for that It's the one thing that I haven't done in India that I really want to do so uh, ah, It's gonna be the best day ever No way
Okay, so this has got to be one of the most unbelievable places I've seen in my entire life. Check out this place, man. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? The thing is, so many people come up and ask me for selfies that I think I'm just gonna charge them and finance my travels through India through this. I think uh, this is a viable business model. I don't know how many selfies I've taken in the past two, two weeks with people I don't know, but it's gotta be in the in the mid tens, like probably more than 30, I would say. So 30, 40, possibly 50 selfies with people I don't know. Even right now, just recording this. I don't know if you realize what's happening behind me. <laughs> this is kind of amazing, man. This is kind of cool though, because in Germany, everybody hates being on camera, right? And this is the opposite. I cannot believe that I am allowed to walk here. Check out how narrow this thing is. <laughs> All right. This is definitely one of the most unbelievable places I've been. I would love to spend another two, three hours here, except we've got a masterclass to teach, so uh, we better hurry back home, have some lunch, do that, and plan the concert for Mumbai. Lots of stuff. Yeah. It's a musician's life after all. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we have just finished our masterclass. We've had, I think, eight students playing plus a duo. Here's the last guy to play for me. Thank you all so, so much for coming. It was my absolute pleasure to teach you. Okay, so starting off the day with some more bad news about the hard drive. We just got the quote back from the recovery people and check this out. They want 64,000 rupees for that. Plus Are you tax. plus that? That's actually over 70,000 rupees for the recovery of our files and uh, their estimated recovery. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but their estimated recovery is undetermined. <laughs> uh, the way they phrased this actually means that they can recover one file and charge us the full amount. That is obviously not okay. So I don't know what we're gonna do, or to be more exact, I do know what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the hard drive back and then take it back to Germany and hope that uh, we'll get a better offer there. I think the doorbell just rang, which means they must be bringing my hard drive back. Let's see what it hey, is. Hey man, I'm holding the camera. Oh. Just, just kidding. The driver dropped it off like ten minutes ago. It's just an empty yeah. case. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 hard disk fixing people just sent us this got a package, but we already got the hard disk for them from them. So I don't know what the hell's in here. Let's check. <laughs> it's like I mean, a, another hard it's drive. It's empty. No, it's empty. <laughs> Did they just send us an empty box? No, like they delivered it and I think it is literally an empty thing. What? They just... <laughs> <laughs> no. They just sent us like a protective box for With the hard nothing drive. inside. <laughs> <laughs> they have some serious logistical issues in their office, man. <laughs> you know what? I am glad that they are not the people fixing my hard drive. <laughs> Free empty case. To put wow, here's all my data that they recovered.
We're in the right house. We just made it to the place that we're staying. I mean, the fact that the key opened the door would, should have been plenty of indication. Anyway, uh, this awesome person let us stay at their house and that is really, really cool. Um, however, it seems like we're probably gonna end up sleeping on these things. It's cool though, we're saving a lot of mon money because Mumbai is a very expensive town, so sometimes you gotta make sacrifices, you know? Every little, let's make some more light in here. Every little dollar I save is more money for the guys in Nigeria. Uh, it helps make this trip true and uh, I'm happy to make small sacrifices to make that happen and uh, check this out how beautiful this, this garden is. Alright, so we just got here and check this out. This venue is not only pretty on the inside, but it's right next to the Royal Opera House. Isn't this cool? Royal Opera House Bombay, obviously not the one in London. Also, there's this little thing over here that I forgot to mention. Uh, <laughs> and I understand that they made two posters and that we can have them both. Meaning that Aditya can have one for himself and I can have one for myself. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm really gonna try to squeeze it inside my bag for Nigeria. some sightseeing and do some workshops and uh, after the workshop we're supposed to get on the train to Surat but our train has just been cancelled. I cannot believe that this is actually happening. I'm having Indian tea <laughs> and collaborating with people who play Indian classical music and we're learning about the rakas and uh, how to play Indian music for somebody that has absolutely no idea how to do it. I don't think it gets any more exciting than this. <laughs> All oh, right, so we just played our final concert as a duo in India, in Surat. It was amazing, it was so much fun. And I just wanted to take a moment to say just how thankful we are for this project, for everybody that made this possible. I am so so happy that this yeah. worked out. It's been a it's been a really exciting week. We went to three cities together, 
and play three concerts, two workshops, a bunch of traveling. It's also a really important milestone for classical guitar in India because we have taken the classical guitar to venues that have never had it, introduced it to students who've never played it. And all in all, I really do think that I'm not exaggerating when I say that this is the most exciting trip I've ever done. So, yeah, looking forward to the next stop tomorrow. Kenya, coming up next. I had massive trouble at the check-in in the beginning. The flight is overbooked. I did manage to talk to the lady at check-in though and she was incredibly nice. She was one of the nicest people I've ever seen and she told me that she'll do her best to fix it. So now I have boarding cards for both the flight to Kenya and the flight to Nigeria tomorrow. So uh, yeah. Right, I am in a proper hotel at the Hilton in Kenya. I'm so excited about that. But to get out of the airport, I actually had to get a transit visa, which is normal and expected. But I think I think I might have bribed the passport immigration officer. He just he said, give me money for the visa, right? As I was standing there at the booth. And he's like, yeah, give me 20. 20 euros, it's fine. Okay. No receipt? I don't know if this is how things go in Kenya, or if this was just a corrupt official, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here now. Time to go to Nigeria. Check it out! Check it out! I made it! <laughs> so excited! You know what that is? You know what that is? <laughs> that is yours! That is it! After all of these months, we finally made it! Wow! 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 Oh my god, I cannot believe this is real. We have a bit of a situation here. <laughs> how many how many people do we have in the back bench? One, two, three, four, five, five, six. <laughs> Oh, you got it right there from Nigeria. <laughs> I am meeting so nice. Sean for the very first time. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. This is the 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 I'm just so happy. Oh, no, this guy, this guy is coming from Enugu. Yes. Enugu is seven hours by road. I mean, yeah. That is not seven. 
12 hours. Oh my God. And this is it from here then. That, that's from Anambra. Anambra, that's bad. Anambra State. You yes. get to Beni, from yes. Beni, Edo State. You get to Ondo State. Oh, from Ondo State. State. State, you get to Ogun oh, State. Wow. Ogun State to Oyo State. Oh, oh, from Oyo State to Oshu State. Lagos State. Oh my God. did all of that to come in. Yes, just to meet me. Just to meet me. Let's open it. 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 Oh my God! Yo! Thank you very much for the donations. Thanks to everyone that made this possible. Thank you so much, everyone that donated. Thank you to everyone. Well, I'm Olu Shola Fextos Hamilton. I want to say a big thank you to Adia, to Mikhail, to everyone that has contributed towards this. Big thank you to everyone that has made this classical data workshop a reality in Nigeria. I know you guys have contributed so much. Thank you for your care, thank you for your love, thank you for your concern. I believe classical guitar music is going to be a popular music style in Nigeria and it begins with us. We can do it and we can do it better with you on our side. Thank you.
They say travel broadens your horizons, that the mind expanded by travel can never go back to its original dimension. But why is that? I, for one, think it is because it forces us to adapt, find new solutions, and redefine who we are. I did not raise enough money for the trip. I had to cover the rest out of my own pocket, and I don't have a job. But having lived what I have lived, having seen what I have seen, how could I have chosen not to help the guys out? Thank you! Woo! Thank you! Wow. <laughs> My next trip starts in 14 hours. I am going to Cuba, this time with my own guitar. Wish me luck. <laughs>